Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Quick Freeze's Game Room. As you can tell from the title above, this is going to be a review on another superhero related video game, and that is going to be Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue for the PlayStation 1. Now, before I go any further, that this game was requested to me uh, by the two guys from Slime TV. They're very cool guys, they do great videos, and they're just funny as all hell, so go check them out. But yeah, they asked, or uh, they requested uh, that I review this game for the PlayStation 1, and I'm more than happy to do that. So uh, let's go ahead, let's get started with the review, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, this is it. This is Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, the video game, which was a video game based off of a very popular TV show, and if you grew up in the 90s, I'm pretty sure you've watched it at least one or two episodes. The game itself has been on a variety of different platforms, such as the Nintendo 64, the Game Boy Color, and even Mac and PC computers. Each platform is very unique in its own different style, but for this review, we're going to solely focus on the PlayStation 1 version of the game. The game itself was developed by Climax Studios, and it is a platform beat-em-up game set in an isometric view. Now, you play as one of the five different Power Rangers. The Red Ranger, the Blue Ranger, the Green Ranger, the Pink Ranger, and the Yellow Ranger. And if you guys don't like any of those Power Rangers, you know, because always the Six Ranger is always the coolest Power Ranger, you could always enter in the cult Ultimate, and you can play as the mighty Titanium Power Ranger. I mainly played as the Red Ranger myself, but each Ranger has its own different stats and special attacks. The Red Ranger, for example, is the strongest among the five but is very slow and his booster beam will destroy anything in its path. The Blue Ranger has speed and strength, but his energy is very low for his special spin kick. The Green Ranger is your all-around character, where his stats are even across the board. His special attack is the Ground Pound, causing massive amounts of damage to enemies nearby. The Yellow Ranger has high energy and speed, but her strength is somewhat low. Her double somersault does minimum damage to anything in its way, and the Pink Ranger is the fastest in the group, but her strength is the lowest. Her special attack is similar to the Yellow Ranger's, where it does a somersault, but then it ends up doing a ground pound much like the Green Ranger's. Yes! Now for the Titanium Ranger, who is actually the strongest Power Ranger in the game, which, you know, he should be, and his energy is right up there to match, but he is also one of the slow Power Rangers, much like the Red Ranger himself. His special attack is just like the Green Rangers, but it does a ground pound, sending out a massive amount of damage to enemies nearby. Now, if you're thinking, well, I like all the Power Rangers, so I'll play with all the Power Rangers, well, you can't. Once you pick a Power Ranger, you are stuck playing with that Ranger throughout the entire game. If you wanted to try a different Power Ranger, you would literally have to restart the game all over from the beginning. This is really the only downside I see in selecting a Power Ranger. So pick your favorite Ranger, be happy, and enjoy the game, because otherwise you won't be able to switch Rangers. Now, if you're one of those people that actually enjoy the Megazords from the TV show over the Power Rangers, don't worry, because you actually get to pilot two of the Megazords from the TV show, the Super Train Megazord and the Omega Megazord. But while these Megazords are different, they actually share the same stats, not to mention they are also very, very slow. Unlike the Power Rangers, you do not get to pick which Megazord you want to drive, mainly because the Omega Megazord 
can only be driven during the final stage of the game. So I hope you guys really like the Super Train Megazord because you're going to be using him a lot. Both Megazords have a special attack where they fire a barrage of missiles at the enemy. Now the controls in this game are very simple. You have X for the punch button, circle for kicks, the square button to jump, and the triangle button to block. You also have the R2 button that does your special attacks, but this only works if your special meter is all the way filled up. There are combos in the game, but the game itself is very easy that you pretty much just need to button mash the punch and kick button and you'll do fine. The levels themselves come straight from the TV show, with each one having one or two different objectives. In every stage, except for stage 3, you have to find captured civilians throughout the level. This I kinda like because it's what the Power Rangers did in the actual TV show. They were a rescue force. They rescued people. But there is also a downside to this. You have to find every single civilian before you can move on to the next area and some civilians are very hard to find because they're just in out of the way places. The other objectives consist of like finding fuel cells for your Megazor or destroying quake spikes from you know stopping a earthquake. Now if you watch the TV show Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, you'll be very pleased that all the monsters in the game are taken right from the show. Each stage you'll get to fight two different bosses such as Loki, Vampira, Jinxer, Diabolico, Olympus, and Queen Banshear who is being the final boss of the game. Now there isn't much to say about the power-ups in this game because there's basically only four different types. You have the multicolored crystals that will fill your special attack meter, health crosses that raise your health, invincibility bolts that make you invincible for a short period of time, and extra life spike balls which will give you an extra life if you get them. Now I gotta say that this is a pretty good game, but it's very very simple. For an adult, it'll probably take you about an hour and a half to complete all seven stages. Probably even less if you're playing with two players. It's a short but enjoyable game, especially for those who enjoy the TV show like I did. One of my favorite things about this game is that before and after each stage, you are shown footage right from the TV show of either like monsters attacking or the Megazord forming together with the Power Rangers theme just blasting in the background. And this actually gets you really, really pumped to play the next stage, and I absolutely love it. The only thing I don't like about this game, and it's not really an issue, and I've already explained this before in the review, is that you can't switch Power Rangers between each stage. But I want to thank you guys for watching my Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue review. It was actually a lot of fun playing and watching the cutscenes and hopefully you guys find some enjoyment in it also. I just want to say I'm Quick Freeze from Quick Freeze's Game Room and I'm here to bring gamers together one game at a time. Later guys.